Both on the summit and in the crater, the rainforest is undisturbed by humans. Animals are remarkably naive. Almost incredibly, I'm about six feet away from an ornate fruit dove. You couldn't normally get this close to birds, especially on the nest. She's camouflaged to perfection against the foliage. It's green with a little bit of blue at the back. This ochre head and a white bit underneath. She's being very vigilant. She's watching me very carefully and turning her head from side to side, just very slowly. Amazing. The thing about animals here is that they, they really aren't experienced. They don't know what humans are all about yet, which may be a problem for them. The history of humans has been that if animals are edible or, or hazardous, they usually end up dead. In the depths of the crater, it's raining again. It's been a long, hard expedition. Exhaustion and illness are setting in. There's been a, an outbreak of intestinal worms in the camp, so we're all taking these worming tablets, which will pretty much kill everything that we've got in our, in our guts. It makes you feel really run down with this tablet just kills everything. Leeches are infesting camp. Gordon and Chris take time to see if anything strange has been caught on the camera traps. Let's have a look. OK, that's me. Still me. Chris is one of the few people in the world who can distinguish what's just rare from what's totally new. Oh! oh. Yes. Is that a tree kangaroo? It's not a tree kangaroo, but it is a, it is a kangaroo. Uh -huh. So it's a, it's a wallaby. Moves along the forest floor here in the, in the crater. Let's see what else have we got. <laughs> got a good feeling about this one. They scan hundreds of images, and eventually they strike gold. Wow. What is that? Have a look at that. That long, naked tail. What do you think that is? It just looks like an enormous rat. It is. It's a giant rat. There's a woolly giant rat. Jeez, oh, it must be that size without its, so that size with its tail. Exactly, almost a meter long. Seriously? And this, this camera trap proves that an animal like that is here. Oh, but to, 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 to get conclusive evidence whether this is a new species, you need more than a this, photograph. Exactly. This black and white photograph isn't going to do it. We're going to have to see if we can find this animal in the okay. flesh, hold it, see what this animal yeah. is. But sort of just so using your experience, this could be a new species. There's no question in my mind, this is a giant woolly rat, and I suspect Basavi has its own kind. Wow. That would be an amazing find. Whew. No one imagined just how rich this mountain would turn out to be. In the weird moss forest that clings to the rim of the crater, George is setting the trap. It's carefully positioned right on the cliff edge. Once night falls, a high-powered light bulb will be switched on to attract insects to the sheet. And that's going to be, hopefully, it's going to be heaving with bugs. Down below, the hunt is on for the giant woolly rat. Gordon and Steve head off in opposite directions. They will search all night if they have to. Somewhere out there in the darkness is one of the world's biggest rats.
At night, the jungle has its own special magic. This tree is covered in bracket fungus, and you can see all the tiny little spores being discharged. It, it makes it look as if they're actually steaming. In the early hours, Chris finds another animal with no fear of humans. It looks like a giant hamster, but it's a painted ringtail. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. Not a new species, but definitely uh, one of the most beautiful animals that lives in this forest. Gosh, yeah, it really is. The fur is just exquisite. It is just sort of so dense and so soft. You can see at nighttime, mm. this place just comes alive. We've done so much walking about this forest finding nothing, and you only have to find something like this, and it makes it all worthwhile. You forget all that misery and all that hardship. On the cliff edge, George can hardly believe his eyes. I'm just overwhelmed. I never imagined I'd see such a diversity of moths. I mean, some of these things I've never seen before in my life. The variety of moths here is absolutely staggering. There's noxious, geometries, there's hot moths, there's fruit-piercing moths. And it's raining, it's tipping it down. This shouldn't be happening. And these bulbs only work in a radius of about 200 yards. All this has come from a 200 yard radius of this bulb. Can you imagine how rich this forest actually is? Almost beyond my understanding. Look at that. I'm absolutely incredulous. My God, look at it. Look at that one, that bratty gold colour. 